Welcome to our short video on our new Auto APD technology. APD stands for Airport Diagram and what WingX will do is switch to and from the Airport Diagram as required. Right now we are positioned on runway 16 left on Seattle Airport and you can take a look, let me just zoom up and you can see that we are lined up with runway 16 left using Smart uh, Taxi, WingX Pro 7 has highlighted runway 16 left it tells us we're on 16 left and up in the top right it tells us we have 11,777 feet remaining. So currently I'm in the split screen view and what's important to note is WingX Pro 7 will only do the switching when you are viewing a chart. So on takeoff if you're viewing an airport diagram it'll switch to the departure procedure and it'll automatically switch to the airport diagram on landing if you are viewing a chart. If you're only viewing a sectional for example in full screen Wing X Pro 7 will not do the switch and the reason for that is we don't want to take away a chart that you think you will need. So for example if you're doing a touch and go you don't want Wing X to suddenly start switching to the airport diagram when you're out on the climb. And so make sure you are viewing um, a, a chart such as the approach chart but this really doesn't limit you in fact it's, it's more powerful because again we do not take away a chart that you might need and if you do want to see the sectional and the airport diagram, just bring up WingX Pro 7 split screen that we've, we've had for years and pilots really love. So what, I, what I've done is I've set up um, our departure procedure. So for example, I've set up that we want the Sumo 7 departure and the approach. Uh, I've set up that we want the ILS. Again, you can, you can select and change that however you want. But that is, so, so what I'm showing is we can set that up so that um, it's ready for you when when you need it. Uh, we also have pencil marks. You can you know we've had this for ages where you can actually just draw on the on the on the charts. So what I'm going to try to do now is take off on runway one six left, have it switch, and then land on one six left just to make a quick short continuous video, and have you see that Wing X will be doing all the switching. Um, I'm going to try be flying this uh, X plane, which is an excellent program, and hopefully we can get this. Uh, uh, so that I don't don't crash or go off the runway and so let's see how, how well I do. So now um, I'm accelerating you'll notice the speed up in the top is uh, about 20 knots and as soon as we get above uh, 65 knots uh, Wing X uh, should do that, that switch for us and so we're getting about to close on 60 knots and uh, there goes uh, 65 knots, and so you see how we see how Wing X Pro 7 did the switch. And now I am going to attempt a landing, and uh, it's not bad. I'm lined up, and you'll see um, as soon as we get below our threshold of 45 knots, uh, Wing X will do the uh, switch back to the airport diagram. So we're down to about 48 knots. And we're just rolling out, and Wing X switch back to the airport diagram. It works great. I definitely recommend you use it, and uh, hope you enjoy it.